All right, drone video of, of a huge tract, 300 acres in the southern Missouri Ozarks with complete owner financing. Uh, if it's still available, then you can see it on our website at instantacres.com. It's an amazing property. Uh, this drone video, we're parked on the north side and we're looking to the south right now over the property. And in uh, about 30 seconds, we've spliced in an aerial map uh, that'll help kind of show you what this drone video is all about. But uh, it is a pretty long one, so we're going to get a, a decent look at the property. Looking down there, you can see the truck parked in a small meadow on the property. As we back up, as we pan up, we're going to be looking southerly over the property. And in just a minute, I think that aerial map's going to pop up, and then uh, I'll explain what's going on with that. And there we go. So the property's outlined in red. Uh, the blue lines are the creek beds, and the uh, purple lines are the road system. Uh, we are parked at the end of the road system where the where the dark purple line circles around on itself. Uh, that's right at that meadow area. We're going to fly southerly. We're going to check out that knoll, um, which is encircled by the dotted line. We're going to um, we're going to see what we can see. I mean, there's there's only so much you can really see in a drone video. It'll give us a, a good overview, but I don't know if we're going to really be able to see you know their creek beds and. Um, all the different areas and whatnot because I mean this is a huge property this is 300 acres okay so we're looking southerly you can see a uh, natural glade area on the lower right tens of thousands of, of uh, trees on this property quite a bit of mature timber everything that that we know of in those arcs has been logged at some point we didn't see any signs of, of recent logging but um, you can be your own judge on that one so as we look southerly, right in the middle is that knoll area, which we think would be just a, a unique once-in-a-lifetime building site. Over to the lower right, you can see the red truck, which, like we said, is parked in that meadow area um, that you could see on the uh, aerial map. Toward the left, you can see part of the road system. I mean, we found a, a bunch of roads and trails out here. I'm sure there were more we hadn't discovered. We saw um, quite a few deer right away when we got to the property. It was early in the morning. And then after we were out there for a little while, um, I think we were being so noisy, they really didn't come around us anymore. With the, we had our four wheelers and side by sides and stuff. Uh, but we saw numerous deer, deer beds and, and scrapes and rubs. And I mean, this there are deer all over this property. We heard wild turkey uh, several times. We didn't see any wild turkey, but we did hear them. So there's one of the roads or trails on the property. Appeared to be a good mix of timber. Um, a lot of mature cedar trees, mature hardwood trees as well. Right there you can see the mix of, of cedar versus hardwood trees. I think we were just getting low with the drone there to kind of give you a better look at some of the timber. Uh, in different areas it's all cedar, in different areas it's all hardwood and some areas are mixed. So we're getting up toward that knoll. Uh, we explored the knoll a little bit uh, on a four-wheeler and we're coming up on it there. And it, actually the knoll, it's funny, it, it's, uh, it's not the highest point on the property because you also own that ridge as we look to the south. You can see the ridge where the knoll sits. It actually gets higher as you go southerly. Uh, so the knoll is not the highest point, but um, it still has a heck of a view. We found a trail that started going southerly on that ridge, and then it kind of petered out. We didn't really explore it anymore. Uh, but like I said, there are so many trails and areas that we did not even see on this property. So now we're going to kind of take a look at uh, what you can see from that knoll area. This is only um, six, five or six, I'm not sure, maybe seven miles south of Gainesville, Missouri, which is the county seat for Ozark County where this property is located. What he's doing now with the drone is he's trying to get down as low as possible to kind of show you what the view would be if you were to build up there, clear out some timber and, and build up there. So he's getting as, as low as he comfortably can without actually hitting one of the trees. Beautiful property, wow. 
I mean, there are very few tracts anywhere where you have this kind of view. Doing the full 360 here. That is awesome. Um, so south of Gainesville, Missouri, uh, if we go in some kind of uh, some kind of hill off in the distance there. Now, if you go southerly from the property for just about 20 miles, uh, you're in Mountain Home, Arkansas, which is a good-sized regional town, quite a bit bigger than Gainesville. As far as lakes, you have two of the most popular lakes in the Ozarks. Uh, within 10 miles of each side of this property. If you go west, uh, you'll hit Bolshoals Lake. And if you go east, you'll hit the north part of uh, Norfolk Lake. Bolshoals, uh, we've personally fished both, and we love them both for different reasons, but um, looking down on the knoll. Uh, but this east side of Bolshoals Lake that you can get to so quickly from this property has the Pontiac Cove Marina which is a great marina with a store and boat rentals. I mean, it's, it's awesome. This area, this particular area is well known for caves. In fact, you've got two named caves uh, less than a mile to the west of this property. And they extend for miles underground, which is pretty neat. We don't know if they actually extend under this property or not, but I mean, this is the the exact same geography as, as where those caves are, so there could very well be caves on this property. I mean, you would it, it would take weeks or months to, to fully explore this to see. All the conditions are right for, for a cave, as far as we can tell. Okay, so that's looking probably southeasterly over the property. What a private paradise. We were so excited to be able to get this uh, property and, and get the videos and get it on the website. Um, someone is going to get an absolutely spectacular tract of land here. So I'm trying to, trying to tell precisely where we are. I think we're headed back toward where we started. No, we're headed toward the county road. Okay. So we're going easterly near the, the southern half of the property. That meadow you see just right of center, that's just on the other side of the county road from this property. So this track does have direct frontage on County Road 514. We're going to see that in a moment. And that's where uh, the trail starts, which leads you deep, deep into the property. So the property's on the left side of the county road. You can see the open meadow on the right, which gives you a good example of what you could do with your property if you wanted to. Really all that neighbor's done is uh, clear out the smaller timber. So that's County Road 514. If you take that west for a mile and a half, you're on Highway 5. South brings you to Mountain Home, Arkansas. North brings you to Gainesville, Missouri. Okay, so looking northerly now over the property, which starts directly on the other side of that county road. So with the direct county road frontage, you can get to this property any time of year. You can pull right off the road. If you're going to take the trail system, you're going to want to have a four-wheel drive. We were out there. Um, we, we never needed the four-wheel drive on our truck. We drove all the way to the end of the road and back. But there are a couple times where we thought we would need it. And if it had been raining or whatnot, we definitely would have needed it because there are some steep parts. There's some parts where you, you cross uh, the creek beds. So yeah, you want four wheel drive. So now I think we're headed back to where we started. You can see part of the trail down there. Part of, It's either the, the trail or one of the trails or the road. I'm not sure which on the property. After this tract has been paid for in full, you'd be welcome to log it to, to use the timber to build a home. Cedar is a specialty wood. If you log it and mill it yourself, there's big money in cedar trees. Uh, that's after the property's been paid for in full, of course. 
but even before that we often are able to give written permission to, to clear timber if you're creating a building site or creating a trail or whatnot you can talk to us for specifics on that but we certainly understand that if you're clearing a, a building site that some timber would need to be removed the trails just keep going and going we walked a small fraction of the creek beds on this property and we found uh, neither one was running by the way but we found uh, pools of water so I mean it they had been running recently they look to be ancient creek beds uh, just thousands of different types of rocks and fossils and and cool rock formations in those creek beds really really neat those are creek beds okay so now if you look toward about the center you can see the red truck so now we're back toward the north side of the property we're actually facing southerly that spot where the truck is uh, if you wanted a private building site that would be really nice there's an open meadow area there but there are some trees around the edges for shade amazing property it really is Check it out at the website, instantacres.com. If it's not there, unfortunately, it's probably sold. But if you get a hold of us, we'll let you know what's coming up and what we have available. Instantacres.com.